we are continuing with our teachings on dreams, dream interpretation, and finding solution to certain dreams we have had. If it is a, a good dream, how to make it come true? If it is a bad dream, stopping that dream from coming to pass. In this particular video, I want to show you what you have to do to stop dreams of seeing yourself going back to your formal place, either going back to your formal school, either primary, JHS or secondary, or um, your former places of work or places you have lived before or seen yourself in your village. Remember, I did a video on dreams of seeing yourself in your past. And in that dream, I told you that it is not a good dream. And mostly it represents stagnation. I explain in detail the meaning of that particular dream. So if you have not watched that video, you can look on this channel and then you will find that video. Now, what are you supposed to do if you have been having dreams of seeing yourself in the past and you want to stop it? What are some of the things you can do to stop that dream? This video is purposely for that. So I'm going to show you some things you will have to understand and you will have to do if you want to defeat and overcome that particular dream. So let's begin. Now, this particular dream has been affecting many people. There are many people who have been having this dream, but they really don't know what they are supposed to do. So number one, if you want to defeat this particular dream, you will have to forgive yourself of your past and release yourself from it. I'm going to explain. The first point is that you will have to forgive yourself and release yourself from the past. There are people who are in today, but they are living, they are still living in the past. What does this mean? There are people, there are certain things that happened to them 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 15 years ago, and they, they, they have not released themselves from the things that happened to them in those years. For example, maybe um, certain things happened to you and it released some emotions into your heart like bitterness or hatred. Somebody did something against you maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. You have not forgiven the person. You still hold that bitterness against that individual. You still hold anger against that individual. It means that you are still living in the past. Yes. If you are in this category, understand that you will keep on having dreams of seeing yourself in the past. It means that you have not been released from your past. This point is very important. Don't forget it. So if you want to defeat this particular dream, and you are watching this video, you have hurt about the past, you have unforgiveness about the past, either against yourself or somebody. Maybe somebody did something against you some time ago, and you still have that pain in your heart. You have to release the person. Maybe you did some mistakes in the past, or you failed in something in the past. You have to forgive yourself and release yourself. This is very important again. Now, you have to understand that evil spirits, the spirit of stagnation and all these spirits, they work with raw materials. And these emotions I am talking of can become the raw material that the spirit of stagnation will use. It can become the access door, the legal entry that this spirit of stagnation will use to keep on attacking your life in your dreams. Yes, spirits use raw materials before they can affect the life of an individual. So the anger becomes a raw material. The bitterness, the hatred that you still have against somebody in the past or you still have against yourself about the failure or the mistakes you did in the past will become the raw material that 
that spirit of stagnation will use against you. You see why this point is very important. So if you have been having that dream, the first thing you have to do, if you want to defeat it, is that you will have to forgive your past. Those who have offended you in the past, you will have to forgive them. You can't hold them in the past and still don't expect to see yourself in your dreams in your past. That is the first point. That is the first key. So you have to release anybody who has offended you in the past. Allow the emotions to go. The anger, the pain, the hatred, the bitterness. Yes, release yourself. That is the first thing you have to do. Let's look at this scripture, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18. The word of God says that, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. So anytime God will want to do something new in your life, he will want you to deal away with the past. He wants you to deal away with the past. It is very important. The verse 19 says that, Behold, I will do a new thing. Yes. So because God wants you to move forward, he wants you to release yourself and to forget about the past. Praise God. This is very important. Do that now. Anybody that has offended you, forgive that person. Forgive yourself. Heal your past. That is the first point, the first step in overcoming that dream. Number two, you will have to increase your prayer life and be consistent with it. You will have to increase your prayer life and be consistent with it. Yes. If you have been having dreams of seeing yourself in your past, your, your, your formal school, and anything connected to your past, you want to overcome it. Be consistent with your prayer life. I am not talking of a, of a corporate prayer life. I am talking of your personal prayer life, your personal time in prayer. Yes. Understand that as a child of God, you have power in prayer to break the power behind that dream. Yes. So if you want to overcome that, what you have to do is that you will have to pray consistently, sometimes in the night, for hours, maybe one hour or two hours in tongues. If you can do this continuous for some time, the dream will not come again. You will defeat that dream totally. Now, just as I said, it is not just the prayer. Have the revelation that as a child of God, you have power and you have authority over that dream. And so when you stand in prayer, in faith, you can break the power that is behind the dream. And as I said, it is an effectual and a fervent prayer that will give you these results we are talking of. Yes, that is the second thing you can do. And then number three, declare God's word concerning yourself. Declare God's word concerning yourself. Faith proclamations are powerful. Faith declarations are powerful. Declaring God's word over situations and matters in your life is one sure way of overcoming them. So you can look in scripture and get scriptures that are connected to the dream and declare them over your life. As you do that, the power of God that is in the word will be released against the force behind the dream. So declare faith proclamations over your life against that dream and its effects. Praise God. Then number four, seek for deliverance. If the dream persists, Look for an anointed man of God, somebody who is genuinely anointed by God to do a deliverance session for you. Many people don't know that there are spirits behind certain dreams you get. Yes, you may be surprised to hear this. Many people don't know that there are spirits, there are spiritual entities behind certain dreams. There are authorities behind certain dreams. Yes, 
So if the dream keeps on coming over and over, sometimes what you have to do is that you have to seek for deliverance from an anointed man of God. They are negative spirits that sends negative dreams into people's lives. So when deliverance is done for you and that evil power is broken, the dream will cease immediately. Yes, so get somebody, a man of God, to do a deliverance session for you if you keep on having that particular dream. That is very important. It is very important. You see, salvation is deliverance from sin. And then deliverance is also deliverance from strongholds or being saved from strongholds. Yes. So the dream can become a stronghold. If the dream continues and persists, look for somebody to do deliverance for you. And let the power behind that dream be broken from your life. Number five. Another thing you can do is that before you go to bed in the night, you anoint your feet. Yes, anoint your feet and declare that the power that takes you to places where you do not want to go, you command it to be broken and to live your life. This is also very powerful. If you will do these things I have said, you will see God's hand. The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, that it shall come to pass in that day, that his burden shall be taken away from thy shoulders and his yoke off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So the anointing breaks yokes. That dream can become a yoke. The anointing can break it. The anointing can break it. Do these things. You will immediately see results. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that and share this video. Let somebody see it and receive help. Alright, I will see you in again in our next video. God bless